divine, holy, sacred energies, the table is already present. And so as we breathe each and every holy, sacred in-breath and out-breath, we integrate this divine grace that flows in. A sacred preparation for the very intent to serve the divine brings us to the table. And this is a very special table, a table in the higher etheric realms of light a welcoming, an invitation. In this moment, the children of the earth, the children of light who have not forgotten that this binding of hearts and minds together in this forever moment, opening up gateways and portals to bring this sacred communion the sacred interconnection of multiple dimensions at once. With each and every holy in-breath and out-breath, we are reminded that we breathe the breath of Brahma, that we breathe the divine in and through us and around us, that this is the glue, the connection, the integration of all creations in the oneness of the source of all things. And so the very breath that we breathe becomes more rarefied, more accelerated as divine grace, divine codes from the upper worlds flow in and integrate, creating heaven and earth. And we are the go between, between the both. For it is our consciousness that holds both as we are closest to the earth, but our consciousness is unbounded. And so what takes place here now is this stairway, our stairway going up to higher consciousness, even as higher consciousness of the upper worlds steps down, meeting, in the sparking point of connection. And with this connection comes the most brilliant light, the most brilliant spark. As two electrical fields come together, as two stars come together and create an immense and powerful light. It is the combination of multiple lights of the divine merging into one, creating one divine singularity. And we are all in the midst of this divine sacred creation in this moment, in this now. And we continue to breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath for each in-breath and out-breath of the divine expands and moves our consciousness beyond the gravitational pull of the earth, beyond our own solar system, out into the cosmos, out into the aeons, out into the other realms, dimensions and expressions of creation. And that interconnection and binding of hearts is that of unconditional love and a limitless light. So we simply breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath. 
and begin to sense and feel the flow of divine energy codes flowing in through us. As the higher parts of ourselves open up and connect, as the Antakarana tube that runs all the way through our body into the earth begins to illumine and expand. As the light pours in, it moves away the debris and the blockages. So we now become clear, purified channels of light. From this immense light, this immense combustion of love from the upper worlds and from us ever seeking our way back home, ever striving to do our mission, ever being on point with our purpose and our soul's urging. So we are filled now and continue to fill with the ever-increasing, expanding luminal light that every single cell in our body, every single electron spin is electrified and moves rapidly with this ever increasing frequency, ever-expanding frequency. We simply breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath. And we allow this love to embrace us and fall deeply into its embrace. The sacred communion, the bride and the bridegroom, heaven on earth, male and female, bringing all dualities into a perfect balance. And it is in this perfect balance, beloveds, that we receive and we give as great transmitters and transducers of energy, the blending of our own heartbeat and that of our earth mother with the upper worlds. And so there is this divine flow and grace that takes place connecting and making more sturdy, more powerful the connection between heaven and earth as we open our consciousness and our hearts that this interconnection remains and gets stronger and gets more anchored in the days and weeks and years and decades to come upon this earth. That the true ascension process that has begun becomes stronger and more accelerated as these great portals of light open up more and more as the children of the earth, the children of light who have not forgotten that they have opened up their hearts and their minds, triggering their own cosmic memories, opening up the very portals within their own cells, within the electron spin of their both atomic and subatomic levels. Becoming less dense, becoming more crystalline, less carbon, as we move forward towards the fifth dimensional frequencies with more ease and grace. And as the children of light continue on their path, as they walk the road less traveled, as they walk in the ascension path, with the unboundedness of a compassionate heart that moves forward with forgiveness and release, 
with purification and eyesight of the higher world vision, the expansiveness of the cosmos, the true reality of being. As these children of light upon the earth envision this, experience it and move it forward, so too does the ascension of the entire planet and all of her life. So we say to you, the children of the earth, the children of light who have not forgotten, to walk your walk, walk your path, be the authenticity of who and what you are in the fullness of your being, knowing that you can do far greater things than you can even perceive at this moment. And now what comes through, beloveds, as we experience this divine flow of grace that flows in through and around us, as we are experiencing the ever-expanding luminal light, the embrace of heaven and earth, that even our sun and local logi and the sun behind the sun and the sun behind that merge together in its brilliance, combines with the brilliance of this spark that has been created. And so all there is is light in the fullness of our consciousness all we can see sense and feel is light the luminal light the ain't soft light given to us in the capacity of us to experience this to integrate it to process it and to pass it on in consciousness to all life all consciousness on all levels. What emerges here now is a great and powerful face. It is the face of a feline. And if you can imagine the face of a mighty lion, that is the symbol that comes forward here now. This lion, as we would call it, is beyond the lion that we can perceive upon the earth. For this is an illumined lion featured being, so loving and benevolent and powerful. It is this being that has prepared this table for us. Breathe with intention as this benevolent, illumined, radiant being coming from the tribe of Jah, the sacred tribe of Jah. And in this frequency that now begins to flow in, as we perceive this symbol clearly, beyond the symbol, it is a radiant being of light. And its presence has a meaning and purpose. It is the tribe of Jah. And the tribe of Jah is to be upon the earth to gather all the tribes of the children of light. 
and to bring it into the higher octave of purpose and mission. That this connection brings a clarity into the next octaves and steps of one's mission purpose that will come forward in this time. Change is upon all. And as you hold the frequency of jaw, you then fall into your perfect positions in your perfect ways to bring forth the next octave of the ascension upon this sacred planet. It is the shining sun of Jah. And in this brilliant light, this light upon lights, that all we can see is light, the perception of this being that radiates that comes in this feline form representing the tribe of Jah, bringing its blessings and grace to the children of the earth, the children of light. It stands in the power of El Gibor, the strength of God. And so we simply breathe and receive this blessing of El Gibor, the strength of God, the wisdom of the paths, and it is through this blessing as we walk our path and the tributaries are many, we are guided as to which path to walk in the months and years to come. And our newly defined purpose and skills to be unveiled and used at this time. And so we simply breathe and receive this blessing from this radiant one, the blessing of El Gibor, the strength of God, the wisdom of God, and the guidance of God. And now as we continue to bask in this radiation of unconditional love and limitless light, as this radiant one continues to glow. 
We now bring in our consciousness, our beloved Earth Mother, and we bring her into our spiritual eye in the midst of this ever radiating light of luminosity. That we see her in the palm of our hands, our blue pearl and all of her sacred life. And we place her in our hearts as we stand in the illumination of this radiant light of heaven on earth, as the glowing face of the most radiant one shines. And as the tribe of Jah brings forth their grace, their love and their support in this loving embrace, we in turn embrace our earth mother we see the children of light moving to the next octave, moving into their next purpose, their mission, their abilities, their power, bringing her into perfect balance, bringing her into the higher world vision as we envision for her. We come as the tribe of Jah, to bring in the finality, to bring all things together, to bring forth the golden age of the sacred earth. And so we hold this for our earth mother and all of her life. We hold our positions. Continue to feel and sense the flowing and exchange of energies. We hold our positions. The energy continues to flow greatly and expands. So we stay for just a few more moments, holding our positions.
And as much as we would stay encaptured in this loving embrace, we know that the return is now upon us. And with that, very slowly, we begin to draw in our electromagnetic field as all those who have participated begins to draw in those as the radiant one, the shining face begins to withdraw back to its source. As the brilliance of the light begins to recede we begin to draw in further our electromagnetic field with the understanding that this can continue in the days and weeks to come and is especially potent if you remember it before you fall asleep. The process is ongoing. And so we prepare ourselves to be back, to be awake, to be alert and be grounded on the count of three. One, two, take a deep breath in and three. We are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded. <laughs>